Hope Valley College in Derbyshire is redefining perfection. Students who are not necessarily brilliant but are steady and straight always are given the Perfect Year Award. Shivshankar visited the school to meet some perfect pupils, teachers and parents. This year, 25% of 170 of Hope Valley students were given the award. A lucky draw then gave cash prices to some of them. Beth is one of the winners. I didn't really annoy any teachers. I've tried to just not get any detentions. I don't think it matters how good you are at the actual subject. Just like being nice and helpful and polite. Agrees Jamie, another winner. You just have to not annoy the teachers, get all your homework in on time. Sounds simple, but not quite, says Deputy Headmaster Paul Dearden. To get it right with every teacher every day for a whole year I think is quite remarkable. A student might miss out because just once they got it wrong in the whole year and that's it, they've missed out. I asked parent Donna Billy if an award for perfection is a good idea. Maybe not and I suppose for the kids that aren't academically clever as well it, it's a bit poor for them. I kind of feel sorry for those that are underachieving and know that they're never going to get that award. Agrees Professor John Coldren, Assistant Dean at the Centre for Education and Inclusive Research. The 25% selected leave 75% not selected. I think the problem with awards is that they're artificial devices for saying someone is worthwhile in some respect. They're never quite perfect. The criteria for giving them and so on are never absolutely clear. Some non-winners, such as Emlyn, explained why they think the award eluded them. Because I got a couple of detentions, I suppose. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's not making that big of an impact. I think most students think they're never going to win it anyway because, like, oh, the teacher's got a grudge against me or whatever. Harry, why do you think you did not win the award? Because I misbehave in lessons. I uh, talk too much and don't do my own. What about you, Anna Kemp? Well, if uh, you annoy your teacher or like get on the nerves or shout out in class, then get crossed off, then you've got no chance of getting a perfect term. I asked Julie Slack if her daughter Jessica did anything different or extraordinary to win the award. I'm not saying she's a goody goody, but she keeps herself, she's got good discipline. Uh, she doesn't get into trouble, she gets her homework done. Hopefully, she's helped helpful to most of the other, other peers. I think that's all it needs really, just a little bit of self-discipline. But some students, such as Kerry Begum, think the award has many downsides. Sometimes the teachers are a bit like unfair when they pick out certain people. Winner Grace Hannabeck fell out with the older brother. My brother was really annoyed because he's had it loads of years and he's never won it. And he, was saying, he said before we went, you better not win the award. Parent Samson is concerned about the potential for winners versus losers type of situation. There were some problems with that at the beginning, that idea of it being divisive. Winner Jamie and jealousy. We just had a laugh and a joke about it and I think they were a bit jealous. Parent Dion on whether the award could spark unhealthy competition. I suppose it can do. The way I looked at it with my daughter, she wondered why she hadn't when her friends all had. Student Mary Samson is a bit concerned about unintended consequences. If it was perfect, people might think that they might not have to do stuff anymore if they got that award. Professor Colden is concerned about another negative. It's rewarding a kind of compliance, a kind of quietism. As a parent, I would want them to get awards as well for being lively, spirited, challenging. <laughs> But people are convinced the positives far outweigh the negatives. They say awards like these promote self-esteem, offer joy, encouragement, recognition and motivation for continual self-improvement. So, given the positives and negatives, what does everyone say about the award? Those awards are useful. I think they should have them, yeah, because to the people who win, like, you can win money and stuff, which is obviously encouraging. I believe that um, no one is perfect anyway, but at least uh, we need to move towards that. I think they're good because they make people work harder in class. The prizes are a good idea. When your child comes home and says, I've just got this award, that's going to be uh, a positive thing in relation to the way that the child is seen by their parents, the way that they think their child is seen by the school. So I can't see that it could be anything but good. The students who maybe do win it who weren't expecting to do so, I think the pleasure they get more than outweighs the disappointment from the others. And there's always next term. Salili Harper treasures the moment she won the award. Amazing. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Felt good. So there it is, the verdict. The award generates wonderful feelings among winners and determination to work harder among others. This is Shiv Shankar reporting for Hallam Radio News.